Hello everybody out in YouTube land. Uh, this is Clunkers and Classics. And this is the gate onto my property. It's going to be a quick tour of all my Clunkers and Classics. This is the front gate to my property. It's three and a half acres. Uh, it used to have about five entrances, none fenced. But uh, it's all fenced off now. And I just got the one gate. So we'll start here at the one gate. And uh, that's the driveway going in and my dog puppy. And we're going to go over here and walk around. Kind of doing this video as an inventory also of all the stuff that I got. I'm not going to name off every car because it would just take too long. I'll just take a quick glance. That's a junk mobile home that I used to store parts in. And here. It's awful sunny out. I'm located uh, pretty close uh, on the Texas and Oklahoma border. The property goes back there a little ways. This area was very uh lots of trees and bushes around i chopped a lot of it down but I'll show you a little area over here that's my junk tire pile eventually i'm going to clear out all this to the fence the mustang i got a bunch of these mustangs see my fence over there i, still, I cleared out this area here uh, there's nobody living in that house. I don't have no neighbors. Another Mustang. We'll just go down here. Got a bunch of these Dodge trucks. I saw a lot of parts off of them. So basically what I do is I run an ad from time to time that I buy uh, junk, wrecked, abandoned vehicles. And if you want to sell one, I'll buy it. And you'd be surprised at what I get them for. Some of them I get them for free, which I'll show you at the end of the video. The uh, best deal I've ever gotten. And uh, Mainly I get all my money back just from selling the catalytic converters off these things. So they're all free. And uh, it's another Mustang, like this Mustang here. There's a Mustang there, one back there. They are about, uh, on a V6 there's four converters, on a GT there's six. Those things are worth... Uh, about a hundred dollars each so four hundred dollars for that six hundred dollars for that catalytic converters off that one and you know I give a hundred dollars for this car six hundred converters sell them up five hundred plus all the parts I sold off of it so if you got the property it's a good uh, business to be in and of course the ones that are fixable run and drive I can fix them up and uh, either sell them or use them these are a bunch of uh, Nissans here at one point I had this semi organized but it's just a disaster now so there was Nissans here Hondas over here and these are a lot of trees here that uh, maybe one day I'll chop them all down make more room but for now, this is only half the property that has uh, cars on it. Uh, I'll show you the other half later towards the end. Go down here real quick. This is another road bordering. My property is bordered by all three sides by roads. And the other side by uh, another property that nobody lives in. Let's go down here a little bit. came by yesterday, took transmission out of that Xterra, a big old weight Aspen here with a Magnum, or not a Magnum, a Hemi 350, 
5.7 Durango. This is my storm shelter. <laughs> Haven't had to use it yet. A couple of chairs down there. Very musty smelling. I need a vent. Spin. Okay, I'll lock back up here. These are a lot of Tauruses here, and believe it or not, they sell pretty good if they're in decent shape. They don't have a million miles on them. Uh, these are the ones that just didn't quite make it, and I use them to fix other ones or uh, sell parts. There's another junk mobile home for uh, sell parts from. These were all mainly Ford pickups here. And so we'll come back out of this area. And that's a camper I got a long time ago. I traded a, in fact, in fact, I traded a Ford Taurus for that camper. That's a friend of mine's Malibu. The rest of these are. Now this one here I'm going to be fixing up shortly, uh, 78 Nova, it runs and drives, just needs a lot of other stuff. Little jokers there, I've got a kind of an empty spot there. This camper here I got for free. Uh, it is a factory camper, it's not homemade. I think it's pretty much one of a kind. I got the title to it. And uh, very, very rare. So I'm going to fix it up one day. And over here is my old trailer. Got a little speedboat that runs and drives. I just don't use it hardly very much. That's a car kind of fixed up. My old tow dolly in here. So my drivers, I had about 15 cars that I drive. This car here is a 2013 Ford Fusion with uh, when it had 70 something thousand miles on it. Let me get back here a little bit. Uh, a woman called me up, says uh, my husband's brother moved, uh, left his car here four years ago, he moved to Japan. And he just now called up and said he's not coming back. He's staying in Japan, and I want to get rid of the car. So I asked her, well, how much do you want for it? She goes, oh, I don't want no money. She goes, uh, I just want it out of my driveway. I says, I'll be right there. It's got the sunroof. It's got all the leather power seats. It's just all, all decked out. In fact, I just drove it to Florida during the snow apocalypse. Put about, I don't know, three or 4,000 miles on it. And uh, it's an excellent car, just like brand new. And I got it for free. I did put new tires on it. Uh, a few other little things. I've been driving that for about a year now. Just my little zip around car. My main cars are... Uh, before that was these Jeeps. These are two of my Jeeps here. And uh, this one here is a V8. And the other one's a, a 6. And uh, this one here, the V8 one, I took to Colorado last year. And I'll be taking it again this year. Uh, they're all both ready to go. Uh, my old pickup truck I don't use much anymore and a boat that my dad gave me and I rocked them fixing up got an engine in it but it's not all connected or anything 
and my Firebird just runs and drives great. Uh, just the hood's faded, but I may buy a Trans Am hood for it. I don't drive it much anymore, but you can hop in it, go anywhere. It's old Mercedes coupe that I bought for $300. i have been offered 3000 for it, and I turned it down. I think it's worth a little bit more. Uh, it's an Equinox that, long story on that. This one I'm going to restore uh, eventually. It's one that was sitting in a field since 91. Uh, these are parts cars for this pair. 1978 Dodge Aspen RTs. Fastest production car in 1978. It beat a Vet, Mustang, Z28, Trans Am. One of these with a 360 in it was the fastest production car. This one had a through. Well, I'll go over. I'll make a separate video of these. I'm going to eventually restore one of them. I like to do both. I'm going to walk down here. This is the mobile home I live in. It was on the property as well. There's four mobile homes on the property when I bought it. I fixed this one up to live in. This is my work truck and trailer and a junker behind it that I just picked up the other day. That's what I use to haul the cars. Now my classics. There's my 85 Corvette. Just got finished putting an engine in it. Freak thing that the engine just screwed up. I'm trying to start it. It's my Flying Purple People Leader. 70 Le Mans Sport. Uh, got a couple of classic uh, parts cars that I put down there. It's a 77 Vet. I restored it a few years ago. And 74 GTO. Put a 455 in it. Painted it. That's a long story on that one. Right now I'm working on this on my 69 Chevelle. Nicknamed it Heavy Chevy. And uh, it's all ready to go other than paint. And it's just getting sanded down for its final primer coat. This is my 99 Camaro. I've had that since 2003. We got 50 something thousand original miles on it. I don't drive it much anymore. El Camino I fixed up a few years ago. Got a rebuilt 350. And this one I bought a little while ago unintentionally. I went to buy a junk Jeep. The guy had it tucked away in his garage. And uh, I said, how much you want for that? Anyway, I got it for 1500 And I'd like to restore it to 72 Nova. Now, this is part of my property here where I can, if I wanted to, fit way more cars. But I'm trying to keep them all on the other side of the property for now. Well, I think that's all for now, and uh, I will be making some more videos. Uh, later on, mainly restoring my next few videos will probably be uh, painting the Chevelle here and uh, painting the Corvette. Because since the Corvette's done, it uh, mechanically done. It just needs to be painted, and I'm going to be sanding and painting that. I'll make some videos of it. If any of you are interested in painting the body, I'll show you what kind of paint I use. I'll have a video of painting some of it. In my shop, I had that built. And I think that's all for now. I will see you later. Uh, if you want to keep track, subscribe, like, comment, do whatever. And uh, I'll see you next video.